Hi, my name is Tom. I've been working as an editor for nearly three years, and before that I worked on publishing in the cultural sector. Today we're going to look at authorship and what the terms lead author and co-author mean. Authorship in the era of collaborative research can be a controversial topic. In this video we'll cover the basics, first looking at the lead author then the co-authors before discussing potential challenges and solutions. The lead author is generally considered to be responsible for the overall concept of the research and is then involved in every stage of conducting the research, writing and editing the manuscript and responding to comments during the peer review process. As for the co-authors, they may also offer substantial contributions to the research at every stage, though in principle they have less responsibility for the overall concept or research topic. To qualify as a co-author, a researcher must approve the final manuscript and agree to be responsible for its content. In terms of challenges, the reality of collaboration is such that it may at times be difficult to clearly define a lead author compared to a co-author. There is often substantial overlap in roles at every stage of the research, which inevitably complicates clear-cut definitions of authorship. In terms of solutions to this, among groups of researchers who frequently collaborate, there may be the practice of alternately identifying as first authors on different studies in the interest of fairness. As well, many journals now encourage author contribution statements. In this way, the specific roles of each researcher in the study are clearly defined and available for public inspection. This may help deal with any of the issues you have in attributing different kinds of authorship to different researchers on the team.